first thing I'd like to do is congratulate uh, Drexel and Denise Dillon um, for a tremendous season and, uh, and a tournament. Uh, I thought they played outstanding. And um, Denise is a personal friend of mine, and she's a, a very class act and um, have the utmost respect for them. And, uh, you know, it was a tough game, but I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, we completed our task. And uh, to be 21-0, and 0, uh, you know, through the regular season, and through the conference championship is a huge accomplishment. Uh, not many teams can say they've done that in the history of this league. And this team has been on a mission from day one. And, and today, finally, um, we completed what is stage two um, of, our, of our goals. Uh, we had the regular season championship and then obviously the tournament champion. And then we want to go into the NCAA and we want to try to win you know, a game in the NCAA, something this program hasn't done. So um, we're still on our mission, but this certainly feels really, really good, and I'm very proud of my kids. Okay, questions? Start. Jeff, yeah, go ahead. Tina, what did you feel like you guys did really well in the second half to just kind of take charge of things? I mean, it was pretty rough out there, um, but, I mean, it seemed like your kids did a good job of kind of, I don't know about ignoring that, but doing the best in that kind of situation and, you know, making shots. First of all, Kevin, I want you to enjoy this as much as I enjoy it because I spent many, many years with you. So I just want you to enjoy this, and you know, you should. Um, but um, I thought in the second half, you know, it was a tight game, but we were able to get Elena out on the perimeter a little bit more, and they doubled, and then she could see teammates, and then our kids. I mean, Lauren Corral was knocking down shot after shot and and making them pay, and this one over here to my right, Akima was penetrating, and you know, we got defensively, we got some some defensive rebounds, and we got out and ran and once we can run we get in our comfort zone and then our offense just kind of rolls after that but um, it was a combination of all those things Lauren hitting shots uh, Kima driving to the basket you know getting Elena some touches where they could double team her so she could give the ball up then she got a couple looks um, then she knocked down and it just kind of rolled from there uh, but we tried to emphasize to our players just to play solid defense get defensive rebounds if we come up with a steal you know Drexel doesn't turn it over very much if we do come up with a steal, make them pay. And then, um, you know, and then offensively, I thought we were patient. We actually made some adjustments in the huddle. And, um, like, Danielle Parker did a great job of screening. Jocelyn Bailey did a great job of screening. Um, you know, Kayla Miller ran a team real well. Um, and I just thought, again, it was a total team effort. I mean, everybody pitched in, and, and everybody did their role. And, and so that's, that's what I thought was the turning point, just, you know, being able to get, get some uh, – Shots in transition, and then uh, these guys going to work with with Lauren hitting that three and and uh, three pointers, and and Kima, and then Elena knocking down shots as well. It's been that way all year, though. This is a team. I mean, you you don't go 21 and 0 and win the regular season and win the conference tournament unless you are a team. Um, and so I think this finally answers all those questions. Okay, Front rower, to the players, and uh, of course the What is the coach has gone through? Through these tournaments, what does it mean to you to be part of the first CAA champion in school history? It's it's amazing, and we're all just so excited. And you know, after last year leaving that court with an awful taste in our mouths, um, we worked extremely hard in the off season and really came together. And this is just everything we've been working for. And um, I really feel like we're deserving of this. And it's so exciting to share this with such a close knit team too. And obviously, Coach Martin is awesome. We love her. She's our leader. And to get this with her and to be the first team to do it with her means a lot. Would you mind? Go ahead. <clears throat> Just to um, go back on what Elena said, I mean, we did definitely put in all our effort into the off season. came and worked hard, worked on what we our weaknesses and our strengths. So, I mean, we are close as a team, and this win is just love. It's just lovely. And I can't – I'm just – just a lady right now. I'm going to? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would have, just going off of what these two said, um, we set a goal in the beginning of the season to BCAA champs. That was our, our main goal, and and we accomplished it through hard work. And, I mean, we were up at 6 a.m. in the summer. We were on the track. We were doing so many things, and that all paid off for us today. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, last year when, when we left here, it, it was a terrible feeling. Um, walking back in here, I mean, it just hyped the entire team up, knowing that we have another chance to come back here 
and do what we wanted to do last year. Okay, there. Yep. Um, it seemed like you know they were very physical with you um, <laughs> during the game, and at one point, like after they got a technical, you were kind of uh, a little bit. Can you just kind of talk about the uh, <laughs> physical aspect of the game and, and how yeah. that um, all season long, playing against Drexel, it's definitely a very, very physical game. And um, at halftime, Coach Rudy said to me, you know what, you're going to get hit, deal with it, and finish. Uh, there's no way around it. So that helped a lot, gave me a lot of confidence coming into the second half. And um, it was very physical. And when they finally called a tee, I was very happy about that because um, I just I don't want people to get hurt, you know. And when things like that are happening, throwing punches, it's – not basketball. So um, I was just happy that they were going to keep the game clean and let us just play the sport. Hey. Yeah, Elena, I, I've kind of made a history of studying Coach Martin and, and her expressions sometimes. I don't see her smile a lot. Um, what is it like to kind of see her self-care and her self and it's awesome to see that smile on her face. You know, the reason she's not smiling is because she's always so focused and um, trying to prepare for that next game. So I completely understand that um, she's just extremely focused. But to get to get her this championship really means everything to this team. And it's, it's awesome that we were the ones who were able to do it. And we're so excited for ourselves and for Coach. Right here. Elena, when you came back, this must have been exactly what you envisioned. I mean, I know the story's not over yet, but you feel like... Definitely. Um, like Lauren said, the CAA title was our biggest goal after losing last season. And I really feel like we started our run as a powerful team at this gym. And um, we just didn't finish it in the championship. So when we came back, um, you know, we got that feeling. We realized what happened last year. And um, it, it motivated us coming back into this gym. And we knew we weren't leaving um, without a championship. In the back. Oh, at halftime, did you, did you get a session that was going to be kind of a similar down to the wire last second shot type of game again? Uh, did you ever imagine that it was going to kind of just gap out a little bit? Who, me or? Um, you know, I was confident halftime because we've been in these battles before, and our non-conference schedule also prepared us for this. I mean, playing the teams that we played. So, um, you know, and even when we played the game at Drexel, which we won by one point, um, you know, there wasn't any, any panic. I felt like at halftime we had to make a couple adjustments, which we did uh, offensively, and we just had to stay solid. I mean, they only scored, what, 16 points at halftime? I mean, that's great defensive effort. And I told the team, the defense has got to remain solid. And this is what we need to do from an offensive standpoint. Uh, we needed to push the ball more. And, um, you know, they took some chances at the end of the game. That's why the, the lead ended up, uh, they were trapping after every rebound and taking some chances. And we made them pay. We got some layups and, um, you know, we executed and attacked their pressure. So, but um, Drexel is a very good team. And as I said, I have a lot of respect for them. Uh, but no, I, I didn't feel that it was going to come down to the, honestly, I did not for some reason. I don't know why, but I felt confident at halftime that the kids were going to follow the game plan. And, and do what we needed to do, and um, and that's exactly what what these players did. Kevin, playing a big picture for you. Does this just kind of reconfirm once again that everything kind of happened for a reason? <laughs> wow. Yes. I wouldn't want it any other way, and I wouldn't want to share it with any other team. So it's been the perfect road for me, and I'm so thrilled that I followed it. Stay right here. Lauren, only to kind of where I touch on their physicality, but they're all physical with you too. How did you respond to that to deal with it? Um, I, I think that little timeout we kind of had there after the, the double technical was called and they were looking at the video screen, everyone on the bench was just saying calm down and keep your head in it. The coaches were, the, uh, the people on the floor were. I think I just had to take a step back and just relax. No. And like between the two championships, you went off the USA basketball uh, last summer and you had a great summer. How much did that help give you uh, perspective and help you maybe play with those players that you're going to run into in the NCAA? Not uh, this summer gave me a lot of confidence, um, not only in my game, but in my leadership, leadership skills as a player. And um, I. I think all of us are extremely confident headed into the NCAA tournament, and I really do feel like we can compete at an elite level and compete with 
all the teams in the country. So um, we're ready to go. We're ready to prepare. Obviously, we're going to take this in and enjoy it, but um, we're ready.